So hey guys, today we are talking about photographing wedding day details. So for the majority of the time, photographing details is something that happens really early on at the beginning of the wedding day. And honestly, it's probably one of my favorite times of the day because literally it is the first opportunity that I'm finally able to get into my client's head, see the mood for the day, see some of their details that they use supporting their wedding, and it just gives me the whole vibe of the day and I can really set the tone from there. This is a great opportunity for the photographer to ease nicely into the wedding day. Most of the time, I will stop by where the bride is getting ready, say hi, let her know that I've arrived, and then I will find the details, whether she has them with her there or if a wedding planner has them. And then I kind of go off on my own for maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, and kind of get into the zone, see these details, and really start to get acclimated to the day without having too much pressure of having my personality on right from the get-go. So how can we make this process more smooth for you? When I started shooting weddings, I honestly have to say that I didn't do a very good job of managing this part of the day, but I started to realize as I got more and more comfortable with this process that the more preparation that I can give to my clients and by asking them to pull things together and to have details ready or to maybe give me the wedding colors or, or any information like that, it can go so much smoother and I end up getting photos that I'm really more happy happy with and that my clients are more happy with because everything is in place already days or weeks before the wedding day. So my first recommendation for getting great detail shots is to let your clients know beforehand what you will need, when you will need it, and where you will need it. The majority of the time this is just a simple statement that I make when I'm meeting my clients building their wedding schedule and if for any reason anybody missed that I also reiterate this point again when I'm sending my clients the final schedule. When I started shooting weddings, it was kind of like a crapshoot every time. What I was going to get, what I wasn't going to get. Like I said, I didn't really manage the situation well. But at this point, I ask for the wedding color and I want organization in it because I'm already trying to design their photos before I even get there. So many times I will bring small details that I can incorporate into their photos. I have several of the Mrs. boxes but I'll pull one out so you can see. I'll usually recommend to my client that they purchase one on their own, but if they have not, these are beautiful velvet covered ring boxes and you can see that they would make a beautiful, beautiful addition to any photo with any details. Sometimes when you get a wedding ring, it's not in the best box that it possibly could be in. Sometimes there's some wear. Sometimes the color of the box doesn't match the other details. But ideally, a ring box is the best way to stand up a ring and showcase it in a photo, especially if you're doing some sort of a lay flat. So I do have several colors of these and I try to keep them relatively neutral. This one is like a lighter pink. I have this light green. I also have a dark green and a dark pink. They are a little bit pricey, but really, honestly, any lovely display that you can bring with to show off a ring or any of the beautiful jewelry that will be there on the wedding day is probably going to elevate your photos to that next level. Don't leave it to chance that the client will have something there for you that will match in the color scheme. You are the visual creator for the wedding day, so take it upon yourself to bring the items that you'll need other items that I try to bring with on the wedding day is a way that I can display these items. I absolutely love these. These are just gorgeously ornate placemats. Believe it or not, these are placemats that I've purchased from Pier 1 Imports a while back. But this one especially is just so beautiful and so lovely. It's all beaded detail. There's some pearls on it. It's perfectly neutral and wonderful for some close-up shots especially any kind of jewelry shots or something smaller or multiple items in a small scale. Many times I bring larger pieces of fabric. This is a kind of a lace, almost in this grayish color. We have some tulle. This is a little bit more golden. This is a satiny fabric, but it's in this pinkish blush color. And then I bring lots of ribbon. As you can see, I have a wide variety of colors and textures. We have some silk. We have some crinoline. We have this velvety one. I usually try to bring a good variety of ribbon just so I can layer it into the details if necessary, but if I don't know the wedding color or what kind of background that I will be photographing these on, whether I need some contrast or I need it to match a little bit better, I just will bring several different kinds. A lot of photographers bring styling boards or trays, and this is a wonderful idea as well. I have to be honest and say that I don't bring styling boards as much as I probably should. 
did only because for the convenience of the wedding day and the weddings that I generally get, if I'm not near my car or an area where I can deposit the boards after I'm done doing details, it makes it pretty difficult for me to carry this board around throughout the day rather than losing it on the spot and making a one-time investment and then canning it after that I will usually only bring a styling board if I have easy access to my vehicle or I can deposit it right away so while photographing the details what is something that I do specifically to make sure that I get all of the details the way that I actually do it is I start off with a full large shot with just about everything in it and then I start to take pieces out the reason that I do that my main concern is always that I would miss something or forget to get a shot of a particular item so in order to keep it straight in my mind I put everything in a shot together compose it accordingly then I move pieces out and start to photograph individual items from there when it comes to photographing the bridal gown I definitely make sure to get some shots on a hanger of this dress hanging in a beautiful location I do have to say though that the majority of the time the dress just doesn't look as good on the hanger so I don't spend a lot of time taking photos of the dress I make sure that I get at least two or three shots I get the details of the dress as well as full length of the front end of the back and if I can do that in a really great location as well that's always a plus but I don't spend a lot of time doing this because I really enjoy taking bridal portraits capturing the details of the dress with the bride's figure inside of it I just recently heard a fantastic tip from Joy Michelle Photography who has a channel here on YouTube and she mentioned something about bringing a command hook on the wedding day so that if there is no hook to hang the dress you can put the hook up wherever you need to get a shot of the dress and be done with it. Wow that is like the best tip I've ever heard. I have not photographed a wedding since I heard that tip, which I literally heard two days ago, but I can tell you 100% that the 2019 season and from here on out, I will be carrying command hooks to make sure that I can get photos of dresses wherever and whenever I need to. Joy, that was a fantastic tip. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> So that's about it for bridal details. I generally ask for the same thing from the groom so that he can have prepared for me his tie, his cufflinks, if he's wearing a watch, a handkerchief, anything significant that he might have a part of his wardrobe as well, I'd like to know. Either myself or my second shooter will be taking care of those details. So I wanna make sure that it is as easy as possible for any of us to walk in and then start capturing these photos. I allocate about 30 to 40 minutes on details, but if I had to do it in less time, Time, I would also do that. I've mentioned before in the past that I'm a very fast photographer and that I don't need too too much time to create. I like doing it on the fly. I enjoy that experience and, and that fast pace. So if you feel like you need longer, make sure to communicate that with your client as you're building your wedding schedule. So I hope some of these tips have helped you. Photographing details can be one of the funnest parts of the day. Like I said already, it's just a super chill way to enter into the wedding day and kind of get the vibe for the people and see what this wedding day is about before ever having to really turn on your personality or get that ball rolling. If you have not already, feel free to jump on over to our Facebook group, All Things Wedding Photography, and let's talk all about details. I'd love to see some of your photos, your favorite photos from details, maybe from this past season or from years back. Additionally, I have all products that we talked about in this video linked down below, so feel free to check those out. Like this video if you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.